I've got this topic to talk about. This is courtesy of the Shade Borough. Honestly, this lady must have Madesu, must have Fumbwa, must have Fufu, must have legumes, must have all those things for brains because I cannot understand how this person has these constant thoughts running through their head. And if, you, if, you, if you're wondering who I'm talking about, it's this lady called Olini Baby. I've spoken about her before on a pod about these dumb subjects that she always keeps bringing up, these bird brain fucking topics. I guess it's part of her brand because she's like a relationship um, sex person that talks about these type of things and womanhood and all this sort of malarkey. But it's so cliche. It's the same old fucking bullshit again and again and again. And here she is with another fucking banger, courtesy of the Shade Borough. When you break up with somebody, when is it an acceptable time to move on with somebody new publicly? Like, fucking hell, man. How old are you? How old is this lady? Are you in your mid-20s? Are you in your early 30s? However old you are, you're way too old to be constantly thinking about these topics. Is this really what is running through your head? Considering what's going on in the world right now, considering where we are as a society, these are the thoughts that are running through that brain of yours. This is categorically, unequivocally bird brain behavior. Bird brain behavior to the fucking 10th ten degree. And I just cannot understand why we consistently get these dumb subjects being pushed on our platforms, especially the kind of quote unquote black owned platforms that are meant to inspire, that are meant to uplift, that are meant to show us in another light. And it's the same old fucking shit. It's boring, bro. Love and se like it's boring. We know what the correct answer is to this stuff. It's all dependent on who you are. It's all dependent on where you are. It's all dependent on your relationship, what you're comfortable with. No one, th there's no like one fits size. There's no like one size fits all rule here. You can't say, oh, the magical number is two weeks or the magical time is one month. It depends on the person. It's case by case. But that's it. It's like a fleeting fool. You don't think about it more than fucking two seconds. It's like trying to break up with somebody. What's the best way to break up with somebody? Via a text or via a phone call? It depends. Or via for in, in, pers in person. It depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. You deal with it, you know, like for like. If the situation is a bit more volatile, maybe if you guys have been physical with each other and there's been some abuse there, maybe it's maybe to in your best interest to break up with that person via text so you don't put yourself in the, in the predicament. But maybe if you spent some time with this person and you've been through a lot and they're probably not going to expect it, that you're going to break up with them, maybe you owe them a face-to-face -face conversation. But that's all it is. It's like a fleeting fault for like the five minutes if that but you don't sit there and pontificate about it you don't make a whole tweet you don't cultivate fucking responses from people and crowdsource and then make it a topic and then make it part of your brand it's a nonsense thing we don't we, honestly most people i would hope don't think about this sort of shit on a daily basis they really don't they're probably worried about how to balance their fucking checkbooks they're worried about how to pay their electricity bill they're worried about if the store around the corner raise the prices on fucking magnums they're worried about how they're going to get to work they're worried about if they can order an uber they're worried about how many drinks they can get at the bar they're worried about if they forgot to bring their baggie or not they're worried about a haircut a fucking you know getting braids done some outfit they want to buy if it's been delivered yet from fucking sheen they're worried about real life shit not this nonsense not this crap not this absolute drivel not this fucking madesu fucking brained stuff that doesn't actually matter like this bondu brain verbal diarrhea that gets us absolutely nowhere this sort of stuff sets us way far back as black people than the kids in the street stabbing each other i don't give a fuck this is brain rot shit because we know the kids, the kids stabbing each other stuff. We know that where that comes from. We know that's that that's societal decay. We know that's flipping trauma. We know that's fucking poverty. We know what where that's coming from. We know how that's basically the, you know the result of all those things happening. But this sort of brain rot that's been rewarded with money, has been rewarded with clout, has been rewarded with fame, has been recorded with like you know red carpets and hair and makeup and designer dresses. It's making people believe that if you talk about this shit enough you too will be famous no one in the streets who's fucking boring man up right who's slicing man up who's stabbing man up who's joking man up in the streets think oh yeah if i do this i'm gonna be the next fucking i don't know stormzy no one's thinking that but obviously if you talk enough about sex if you talk enough about when you lost your virginity when's the first time or when's a good time to hook up with somebody would you sleep with somebody on the first day who who you split the bill with uh, who makes more money man or oh, boys because now we're seeing an image of people that do that have quote unquote become successful now we're gonna think that's the way to follow that's the thing to go that's the that's the fucking yellow brick road when really it's not 
It's fucking brain rot. It's fucking brain rot. And I hate everything about it. I really fucking do. But I'm glad I'm not the only one. Because according to the comments, according to the comments, some people here are also kind of echoing some of my thoughts. This lady obviously is more on point. She's basically echoing the thoughts of the person. So I'm not going to go on that one. But somebody says here, please, can we stop with these discussions? And I agree with you. Please, for the love of God, can we stop? Right? Um... Another one, right? <laughs> Just want to throw out some other. Look at this person. Thank you so much, Victory Ioka. Thank you, Victory Ioka, right? Just want to throw out some other important. And the funny thing is, Victory, does it sound like a Nigerian name? Is Oloni a, a Nigerian girl too? This shows you the duality of Nigerians. Nigerians are some of the most intelligent people in the world, right? Especially within the Black Dis Diaspora, right? They're fucking super smart, right? They always fucking get good grades. They work incredibly hard. But this is the duality, right, of Nigerians. On one side, you got this bird-brained woman, right, talking about when's the right time to move public and what I'm new. And then you got this lady, Victoria Ayoka, throwing out some amazing topics that we should be talking about instead. Should governments implement a universal basic income to reduce poverty and inequality? Energy v fossil fuel, which should be prioritized for the future of our energy policy? population or energy pro uh, production sorry is universal health care a fundamental right and how can it be achieved another question what are the most effective strategies for combating um, climate change on a global scale another one how can education systems be improved to better prepare students for the challenge of the 21st century these are the topics that we should be talking about but again people be like oh it's boring i want to talk about love island i want to talk about cray sean i want to talk about it's like shut up man shut up Shut up. Shut up. Another person. Three weeks before, whenever... Oh, okay, some people are actually answering the question properly. But I love that I'm not the only one that's saying this, but I feel like I'm the minority because this lady gets fucking traction on her tweets. She gets some loads of views on her fucking, you know, videos that go out there. Clearly, it's doing well for her because she looks very clean. She looks very put together. The hair is laid. The makeups are there. The titties are sitting. So clearly, clearly, I'm the one in the minority here. Clearly, she's getting paid and being rewarded handsomely for these bird brain ish topics, but I flipping hate them. I hate them with a capital H. I think they're horrible. I think they're destructive. And I think they do nothing, nothing, nothing to bring us forward and nothing to elevate us as people. Absolutely nothing. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That's also very likely. I really could be wrong. 